our galaxy, the Milky Way, is literally stealing from this smaller neighbor, stripping away vast clouds of gas that took billions of years to collect. But here's the twist. The victim is refusing to die. In the next few minutes, you'll discover how our galaxy became the neighborhood bully and the shocking way this smaller galaxy is fighting back. But the most mind-blowing part isn't the theft itself. It's what Hubble revealed about this galaxy's survival strategy. To understand this cosmic crime scene, we first need to meet our victim, a galaxy that's proving to be far tougher than anyone expected. The Large Magellanic Cloud, or LMC for short, lies about 163,000 light years away and is one of the closest galaxies to the Milky Way. Compared to our Milky Way, it's like putting a house cat next to a lion. We're talking about a galaxy just 10% the mass of ours. But despite its size, the LMC has its own stars, clusters, and even nebulae, like the famous Tarantula Nebula, a breeding ground for massive stars. But size isn't everything in this cosmic story. At the center of every galaxy, you've got the bright, crowded neighborhoods where stars live. But that's just what we can see. The really interesting part is what we can't see, the halo. A galaxy's halo is like its atmosphere, a vast bubble of invisible gas and dust stretching far beyond the visible galaxy. This halo isn't just empty space, it's the galaxy's lifeline, the raw material needed to make new stars. And this is where our crime scene begins, because Hubble just discovered something strange about the large Magellanic Cloud's halo. It's mysteriously smaller than it should be, much smaller. And the evidence points to one suspect, our own galaxy. Normally a galaxy this size should have a halo stretching out like a giant bubble, but the LMC's halo is 10 times smaller than it should be. Using Hubble's ultraviolet vision, scientists could see exactly what was happening. The gas wasn't just missing, it was being actively stripped away. This isn't just about missing gas. It's the first time we've caught a large galaxy actively stealing from its smaller neighbor, and the evidence is written in ultraviolet light that only Hubble can see. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Because the Large Magellanic Cloud isn't just a victim, it's turning out to be one of the most resilient survivors in our cosmic neighborhood. It turns out this theft has been going on for millions of years, and it all comes down to one thing, gravity. When galaxies get too close to each other, the bigger one's gravity starts pulling on the smaller one's gas. Imagine trying to hold on to a balloon in a hurricane. That's what the Large Magellanic Cloud is dealing with right now. Every second, vast clouds of gas are being torn away from the LMC. We're not talking about a gentle breeze here. This is like a cosmic vacuum cleaner operating on an unimaginable scale. The Milky Way's massive halo is literally reaching out and pulling away the LMC's layers. In most cases, this would be a death sentence for the smaller galaxy. Without its halo of gas, a galaxy can't form new stars. It's like cutting off a city's water supply. Eventually, everything starts to die out. But despite losing 90% of its halo, enough gas to make billions of stars, the Large Magellanic Cloud isn't dying. In fact, it's thriving. Remember how the LMC is 10% the mass of our Milky Way? That turns out to be its secret weapon. It's just massive enough to hold on to a critical amount of gas. A smaller galaxy in this situation it would have been stripped completely bare. What's happening is fascinating. As the Milky Way's gravity pulls on the outer layers, it's actually compressing the remaining gas into a tighter bubble. Think of it like squeezing a half-empty tube of toothpaste. You're making what's left more concentrated. This compression is actually triggering something remarkable. The LMC is still forming new stars. It's like watching someone build a new house while their neighborhood is being demolished. The galaxy has managed to hold on to 10% of its halo, just enough to keep its stellar nurseries running. This discovery is forcing us to completely rethink how galaxies can adapt and survive in hostile environments. But how exactly did scientists figure all this out? How do you see something that's invisible? That was the challenge scientists faced. 
Hubble didn't just stumble onto this discovery. It used one of the most clever tricks in astronomy. Because when you're trying to see invisible gas in space, you need to get creative. The team used 28 quasars, think of them as cosmic spotlights, the brightest objects in the universe. As their light traveled through the large Magellanic Cloud's halo, it picked up clues like a cosmic fingerprint scanner. Imagine trying to see fog at night. You can't see the fog directly, but you can see how it affects the light from street lamps. Scientists used the same principle, but instead of street lamps, they used 28 incredibly bright quasars shining through the LMC's halo. Using Hubble's cosmic origin spectrograph, they broke down the quasar's light into its component colors. When light passes through the LMC's gas, it leaves behind a unique fingerprint, telling us exactly what that gas is made of. Each chemical element absorbs light in its own unique way. It's like each type of gas has its own barcode. By reading these barcodes, scientists could determine not just what the gas was made of, but also how fast it was moving and how much of it was left. What they found was unprecedented. The halo wasn't just smaller. It was actively being compressed and stripped away. They could literally see the evidence of our galaxy's gravitational bullying in the spectral data. What's happening to the large Magellanic Cloud isn't just a local story. It's giving us a window into one of the most violent periods in the universe's history, a time when galaxies lived much closer together. Billions of years ago, the early universe was like a cosmic mosh pit. Galaxies were constantly crashing into and stealing from each other. What we're seeing with the LMC is like watching a replay of these ancient cosmic battles happening right now in our backyard. But scientists aren't done yet. They're now planning to look at something even more exciting. The exact spot where the LMC's halo crashes into our Milky Way's halo. And this isn't just ancient history. Our Milky Way is on a collision course with the Andromeda Galaxy. What we're learning from the LMC could help us predict what will happen when these giants finally meet. This discovery is changing how we see galaxy evolution. It shows us that galaxies are more adaptable than we ever imagined. They can survive what should be fatal encounters, compress their resources, and keep building even while being torn apart. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.